In this little video, I'm going to look at how I can have multiple bullets being shot at once. So again, if I run my game in its current state, I have my bullet single fire. It is running quite fast since the last video. Uh, so I'll just put that back to 0.3 as well. But what I'm really focused on is our shoot method. Now we should understand that what's happening when the shoot method is run is that we're creating an instance of a bullet. We're setting the position and rotation with these two lines and then adding the bullet to our scene. Now we could get a second bullet simply by copying all of this code if we wanted to and putting it underneath. We'll just have to go through and not use the same variable. So I'm just going to call this bullet two anywhere that we refer to it. So we can call all of these bullet two and finally add bullet two in. If we run it now, we probably won't see any difference at all because we're creating two bullets in exactly the same position. So what I'm actually going to do is change the positions of these bullets ever so slightly by changing the global position of both. Now the global position gives you an X and a Y value in one um, position and we refer to that as a vector two. So what I'm going to do is take the global position that we have been given and I'm going to add or subtract uh, an amount from both. And the way I'm going to do that is in this case, I'm going to take away a vector two. So I have to define or tell it that it's a vector two. If I could possibly spell that would help a vector two. And I'm going to change it by, let's go value of 20 pixels in both directions. So the global position is going to subtract a vector two. And of course I should have a capital V there. Sorry. That's what I want to have. And then on the second bullet, I'm going to do exactly the same, but this time I'm going to add that 20. So it's basically an offset of 20 in each direction. Now this is not going to be perfect because we're changing both the X and the Y. And because we are in a rotational shooting, uh, when we're shooting horizontally, you're going to see quite an offset. And as we come more up to a straight up and down, you're going to see the bullets converge back into a single path. And you'll see that as we see it now running. So let's try it out. And yes, you can see that we are in fact shooting two bullets, but as I mentioned, as we get to more of a vertical, sorry, more of a vertical up and down shooting, let's see if we can do that a bit longer, you'll, uh, you'll see that the bullets are converging more onto a single path. But we do technically have two bullets being shot, causing obviously twice as much damage to the enemy. And that's a, a simple way of creating a second bullet. Potentially we could copy it under a third one and change the uh, positions even more, but we'll start to see the shooting look a little bit strange. But again, it's a really quick and dirty way of getting a second bullet.